Hello, all. I am Iron Tongue Tien, here with an official signboard for the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. It also doubles as your permit to run the event. Whoa! Is this supposed to be Bull Checker and Crimson Staff? It's so over the top. Ah! Uh, oh, sweet! Sadly, it's not my own original artwork, but check out that design! And that line work! It's so cool! <laughs> it's epic! It captures exactly how awesome I look as a pro beetle fighter in the heat of battle! Dude! Wait, not that. Uh, how do they usually address strangers in this part of the world? Uh, maybe... Esquire? Ah, that's the one. Tien Esquire, your artwork is incredible. Words cannot express the Arataki gang's gratitude. You can drop the Esquire, Don Arataki. Also, I'm no artist, just a storyteller. This promotional artwork was done by a young lady at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yen Fei looks out for her a lot, so when she heard about your event, she offered to contribute some artwork. Oh, so this is Yen Fei's doing. Man, she really thought of everything. This is exactly what we needed. Young Grandmaster Hanakado here tells me that your boot camp is an ambitious training program that could shape the future of beetle fighting. Well, I'm no beetle fighter myself, but I've heard a lot about it and have always wanted to try it out for myself. <laughs> Who knows, it might just give me the inspiration for a great new story to tell in the neighborhood. Beetle fighting is something you have to have a natural affinity for. Take Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon, for instance. She battled with great prowess on her first time after only a short demonstration. Once Tien Esquire has grasped the basics of beetle fighting and understands the appeal, we might get a lot of free publicity from his storytelling. Dude, uh, that'd be awesome. All right, Squirt. Uh, squat. Yeah, yeah, Squire. Yeah, Squire. <laughs> uh, may, may the best man win. <laughs> Wonderful! Hmm, I can see that the Arataki gang has transformed beetle fighting into a fiercely competitive high adrenaline sport. Yes, there are the rudiments of a fine tale here, to be told time and again. Great dueling with you, TN Esquire. Ah, the pleasure was all right. The phrase is, the pleasure is all mine, Oni King. <laughs> Details, schmeetails. Point is, thank you for supporting our boot camp. I extend my gratitude to you too, Don Arataki. I intend to stay here and watch a while longer to further enrich my writing. Uh, please, pay no regard. Uh, just pretend I'm not here. Man, I've never fought against someone so cultured before. My mind's buzzing from all those fancy words. What's that buzzy feeling called again? Oh yeah, learning. Looks like the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp is getting off to a good start. Abu 
Pluto are our friends. Like cats and doggies. Another kid? Oh, didn't we go through this last time? Well, yeah, but Grandmaster Hanakano is a kid, too. And one of the other kids from last time was actually pretty good, so age is no measure of a beetle fighter's skill. Although, uh... Buttercup of Terror has no prior beetle battling experience. Her chosen Oni Kabuto has the air of a formidable warrior. I don't know what you guys are talking about. My Oni Kabuto was a present from Daddy. He got it from a new friend he made last time he was away. Oh, -ho! your father sounds like a real stand up guy. Okay, let's send out Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon for this one. We don't want any accusations of bullying flying around. Huh! You make it sound like Paimon's the weakest choice on our side! Still, Paimon's probably the safest choice. But only because you two maniacs are a danger to yourselves and others when you're in a competitive mood. Don't be nervous, young lady. It's only a game, so it's just for fun! I nearly died of a heart attack. That little beastie is fierce. Even I would have had a hard time. How'd you get so freaking good at this without a teacher? Is everyone in Liyue a born warrior or something? So this is how Oni Kabuto play together? I get it now. <laughs> uh, do you have time to play some more? And I also want to watch you guys play too. Looks like Buttercup of Terror has a real knack for this. Oh, kind of terrifying. Hey, Bullchucker, if you had this kind of talent, you could probably have learned how to communicate with shelled creatures just by listening to Guoba talk to Crystal Tornado. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp coming along. Great timing, Yanfei. My savior! Oh, thanks for helping out with the permit. Yo, oh, and for the sign with the epic artwork. Wait, I know that look. Are you, uh, looking to flip some beetle too? Huh? Something wrong with that? I have a big client who does a lot of cross-border commerce. Anyway, she showered me with gifts once after I helped her win a huge lawsuit, and among them was a very special Oni Kabuto. I didn't know how to look after it at the time, so I got Granny to look after it for a while. It's looking pretty buff these days. Mind if I join in? You're not worried I'll cramp your style, are you? We ought not dismiss your savior, Oni King. What she lacks in experience she makes up for with one of the sturdiest built and most awe-inspiring Oni Kabuto I have ever seen. You make me an offer I can't refuse. All right, time to send in the Oni King's right hand with Crimson Staff. I know my compadre will stay cool under pressure. 
So it's me versus the Traveler? All right. I haven't quite got the hang of this game yet, so apologies in advance for any blunders. Kabuto is so strong! What has Madam Ping been feeding that thing? See? Your savior's Oni Kabuto is a force to be reckoned with! But just like last time, when my generals threw you a few curveballs, the mightiest blade cannot slay its foe except in the hands of a skilled swordmaster. Why well, well, wise words, Grandmaster? Oh, okay. Good thing my compadre kept it together. Wow, what a blast! I could get into this whole beetle battling thing. <sighs> this is so much fun. Thanks, everyone. I'm gonna stick around and play some more. This, this makes no sense. How, how did you do that? My, my reputation is destroyed! <laughs> it's like a bean to the heart. It was an honor doing battle with you, good sir. What the? So polite. <laughs> so, been busy losing while we were away, Bullchucker? I don't see it that way. Unless the bona fide Beetle Battle King is ready to give up now, he hasn't lost to me yet. In battle and in life, it's normal to hit setbacks every once in a while. But a setback only turns into a failure if you make the decision to stop trying. Word! Heck yeah! I ain't about to admit defeat yet! Still, there's nothing to be gained from constantly making excuses. Don't put all your energy into talking garbage. Spend it on fighting a little harder instead. Oh, burn. Oni King, this brand of enemy doesn't seem to be your area of expertise. I advise you send in another of your generals and observe the duel in detail. Watching others do battle is also a crucial part of a warrior's training. Some skills one learns by doing, others one learns through observation. Ah. <sighs> Good point, Grandmaster. And good timing, compadre. Oni King's right hand, I'm handing the fight over to you. Ah! Finally, it's your turn! Make it count, Traveler. So, I'm going head to head with the legendary Traveler. Guess I better look sharp.
Nicely done. You beat me. I'd go as far as to say that it's an honor to lose against the Traveler. Ah, so that's how you do it. I never would have thought of that. Yep, when you're up against a cunning enemy, you gotta get creative. When your tactics fail, you have to change your point of view. In our journeys far and wide, we often have to think on our feet. Clinging to old methods can never solve the problem, no matter how hard you try. I think Shinobu said something like that once, too. I guess there's something to it after all. But I'll mull it over some other time. Right now, my focus is on the task at hand. More beetle fighting! Sigh. <sighs> 